Scott, how you doing? Can I speak to you for a hot minute? Yeah, well, you're going to see me the whole four years you sitting in that seat. I'm going I'm to stand over here so I give it in the street seat, all right? All right, you do it. They plastic, you only dollar ninety nine. Excuse me. <laughs> What's up? All right, I'm good. Now, Denise Koch did the first story on me in 1997. She did hard look on me. All right. I got legal mail that I've been asking the mayor to answer. I gave you some legal mail I'm trying to get an answer to. I came to y'all's office yesterday and I waited for like a whole half an hour. You know what I'm saying? A whole half an hour. I seen y'all other night. How y'all doing? Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, miss. Miss, you with the mayor's office, correct? And how you doing? Um, I've been trying to get a uh, talk to the mayor about some legal mail I sent y'all over a month ago, and I need a response to that. It's for exoneration. It's a petition. I'm a citizen, Baltimore City's resident. All right, it was about that kidnapping from 2011, and you wouldn't hear yet. Mayor Brandon Scott, please don't go. Mayor, 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 Mayor. I need that legal mail, Mayor. All right, I need to be exonerated for something I didn't do. Yeah. That's Denise Koch. She did the first story on me on Hard Looking, uh, what, 1998? Denise did that. Remember the first story you did on me? I sure do. Yeah. I just want to make sure that we're still on the same page. We're on the same page. Yeah, all right. Uh, mayor going out the side door. Oh, this is my buddy from Fox 45. No, because see, that's when we first met. And we set rules to this when we met, right or wrong? Yeah, sure. yeah we did. We set rules about what I do when I do what I do, right? Exactly. I was on House of Cards too, wasn't I? There you, there you were, and you fed everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the, the bottom line is they talking about the violence and the violence and the violence in the city. This WJZ, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just making sure my message get out there. All right. This violence in the city, y'all don't talk about ending the war on drugs. That's a 50 year war that's been in our community for the longest. And it's our community that's suffering from the guns and the violence. Mm -hmm. All right. We know that with Oliver North. We know that with Richard Nixon. But that's not discussed in these rooms. You blaming the victims here. You know what I'm saying? The kids and the violence. You got fatherless families. You got fathers locked up with their grandkids. Yeah, that was talked about today. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're locked up with their grandkids. Mm -hmm. I was part of that violence, and you know that. In the 80s, I had a territorial drug dispute. When I came to Baltimore, I came straight out the Illinois Department of Corrections. I'm a prisoner's right advocate, out for justice, plus my own program, Shorties. So when you get this story out, let's make sure the truth be told. Mayor Brandon Scott got legal mail. I need exoneration because I was charged with terrorism. Your station, WJZ, knowingly put out false information in 2011. When I put those toilets out in the city, it was about the violence. It was about the corruption. It was about the killing of our children. You know what I'm saying? And those toilets are poignant because they got your attention. You feel me? It's like your Achilles heel. I know what bothers you. First thing you get in the morning, you take a shit or a piss. You're going to think about what I do because that's what the toilets was all about. Long story short, your station has footage of me while I was locked up at Spring Grove Medical Facility. Your station, WJZ, got an hour and a half tape. Y'all need to play that whole tape for the voters and the people to go and coincide with this, this production that y'all had here today. Y'all did the first story of me in 1998 with Hard Look, Richard Sher, Denise Koch was there, Kai Jackson, you know what I'm saying, Mary Mubala, Vic Carter. So I know your station very well. In my exoneration, I want the same respect I had before I got locked up, and I wanted to come from your station. Now, what we got is a media war, because when y'all come out on the streets, it's open game. If I don't feel like y'all telling the truth, I'm going to shut y'all down, and you know that's what I'm good for. You are definitely good for that. All right, so we're going to keep the rules, to the rules of engagement. You got a war on drugs that wars on the black community, and the media is part of that war. So we're going to even the playing field. The only thing between me and you is air and opportunity. We're going to start sucking that shit up. You understand? All right.
Thank you, brother. I heard you. I know you was listening. And you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't going to mic check the room, but when I see these public events, I'm going to be there like Michael Jackson. <laughs>